most of the mango pudding recipes that are prepared without agar agar in gelatin calls for a high amount of cornstarch and sugar which makes the pudding too starchy in my opinion. This instant mango pudding with 4 ingredients is so easy that you can whip this up in 10 minutes. So let's get started on how to make mango pudding at home. We take one ripe mango. The mango needs to be really sweet because we are using just 1 tablespoon of sugar for this mango pudding recipe. Add more sugar if your mango is not sweet. I add the cut mango to a blender. To which, 1 tablespoon sugar is added. For liquid, I am adding 1 4th cup coconut milk. We then blend it. And you end up with this thick creamy mango yumminess that I had a hard time keeping it off my mouth. Getting back, we need to make a cornstarch slurry with 3 tablespoon cornstarch mixed with half a cup of coconut milk. Combine them well to remove any lumps. Now let's cook the mango puree on the stove for a couple of minutes. Once you reach this point, add in the cornstarch slurry and mix it well over medium heat. Keep stirring for about 8 to 10 minutes and you end up with this thick creamy pudding texture. Transfer this to a mold quickly before it starts to set. Since I was doing the cooking and the camera setup, just minutes delay caused a huge difference in the way the pudding looked. And that was a mistake. Just pressing it on the sides can release the mango pudding from the mold. So this is how it looks when you put pudding at a relaxed pace. Never do the steps slowly. Pour in the mold at one go. Though it's got a good jiggle, it looks like a yellow brain. That's what my kids said. Anyway, I had a backup done already for the thumbnail. So serve it chilled with some chopped mangoes on the top. If you don't like to cook but still want a creamy uh, dessert, then check this famous mango lassi recipe. Or how about a refreshing mango salad and I shall see you on the next video. Take care.